Greetings, friends. I'm Mark David, founder of the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Today's topic, what is a phytochemical? Now, phytochemicals, that's a big word these days in the nutritional field. Maybe you've heard the term, maybe not. But if not, it's worth knowing about. And if you have heard it, I want to demystify the term phytochemical, figure out what it truly means, and see why we are at the dawn of a new understanding of the healing power of herbs and plants. Now, what's happening these days is there's, a, there's an explosion of scientific research in the healing power of plants. Now, in a weird way, this is nothing new because so many traditional cultures for eons of times, whether it's from traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, the ancient traditions of Europe, so many shamanic and traditional cultures, they understood the power of plants. Now, science is starting to prove it. Phyto means plant. Phytochemical is simply a catch-all term for plant chemicals. That's it. Phytochemicals is a big catch-all term for all the plant chemicals that exist across all of the plant kingdom. You know, I was so lucky to be raised in the sciences because when I was raised, I was taught that science was, was mystical and magic and exciting. So science has identified perhaps several thousand phytochemicals and there may be tens of thousands more, nobody truly knows the exact number. So when it comes to phytochemicals, you're gonna hear names like ginsenicides and ginseng, silymarin and milk thistle, curcuminoids and turmeric, allicin and garlic, gingerol and ginger, the list goes on. By the way, chlorophyll is a phytochemical, probably the most important one in human history. So again, it's a catch-all term for any possible chemical that one can identify in a plant. Now here's the catch. Plants have evolved alongside humans over eons of time, and there's no doubt that they are a treasure trove of healing agents for a vast number of symptoms and diseases that impact us. You know, there's an ancient Native American tale that said that at one point humans were starting to get a little bit mean to the creatures and the animals. So the animals all got together and they decided we're gonna bring disease to humans. And then the great spirit looked at all the humans starting to suffer and said, wow, we got to do these guys a favor and spoke to the plants and the plants said, we're going to produce healing medicines. So I find that interesting. So these days, by the way, about 40% of all prescription drugs are plant derived or plant based. That's where we got the original idea for the molecule. You know, in an earlier days of the pharmaceutical industry, that percentage was even higher. Now, what we're discovering is that the phytochemicals, plant chemicals, have an extremely unusual impact on our DNA. They can literally signal your DNA to turn on or off the expression of various genes. Just because you have a gene, let's say for alcoholism or for diabetes or for heart disease or for obesity, it doesn't mean that you're gonna get those conditions. It's a switch, literally, that gets turned on and off. And environmental factors help determine if those genes will express. So plant chemicals are literally like lock and key mechanisms for genes. And they can switch on positive gene expression or switch off negative gene expression. So phytochemicals are these powerful natural regulators of the human body. It's wild. And here's the thing, they can have an immediate impact on gene expression. I'm talking about in less than minutes. So chances are you were raised in junior high school to think genetics means I have brown eyes and that's what I'm born with and I'm a male and that's who I am and genetics is forever. Okay, yeah, your brown eyes are forever, male, female, that's forever. But gene expression moment to moment is constantly being turned on and off. So we're living in a time when science is beginning to prove what smart human beings and traditional cultures have known since recorded history, that, that plants truly do heal. And they do so at the most fundamental level of our genetics and our humanity. How beautiful is that, that you can walk outside and the plants are medicine and the plants talk to your DNA the moment you put them into your body and they can have a direct impact that can help you be an empowered, healthy, pleasured, alert and alive human being. My friends, that is the magic of life. So I hope this was helpful, my friends, to learn more about the breakthrough body of work that we teach here at the Institute for the Psychology of Eating. Please sign up for our free video training series at ipe.tips. That's I as an in institute, P as in psychology, E for eating, dot tips. 
You'll learn about the cutting edge principles of dynamic eating psychology and mind-body nutrition that have helped millions forever transform their relationship with food, body, and health. And lastly, we want to make sure you're aware of our two premier offerings. Our Eating Psychology Coach Certification Training is an eight-month distance learning program that you can take from anywhere in the world to launch a new career or to augment an already existing health practice. And Transform Your Relationship with Food is our eight-week online program for anyone looking to take a big leap forward with food and body. So thank you once again for your time and attention, and I hope to meet you in one of our trainings or programs.